Okay, today's lesson is on climbing and descending. So I'm going to be looking at a climb. So once again, the horizon is our primary reference at all time. But before we're going to a climb, our acronym is LPAT, so it's lookout. Attitude, power, trip. So we want to look out, left to right, and at the airspace above us, or any traffic. That's power. A sling aircraft for a cruise climb at 5,200 RPM. Then A for attitude, adopt a climb attitude, no, just above the horizon, about there today. Then T for trim. And need to keep making adjustments to the power to maintain 5.2 and using our rudder to make sure we're in balance with the slip ball. We can use our secondary instruments, airspeed, our timber, vertical speed indicator and our power and slip in the cutter while we're climbing. Every 500 feet it's important that we lower the nose just gently, having a look out for any aircraft that might be flying up towards us, and checking our temperatures and pressures at all the green. And then we continue our climb attitude. And the sling, uh, a, a gentle, standard cruise climb is about 85 knots. We can adjust how steep our climb is by adjusting our attitude and airspeed with the same constant RPM. So a nice cruise climb is about 85 knots in the sling. I was to raise the nose a bit to bring that airspeed down to about 75 knots that would make our climb steeper. But likewise, if I was to lower the nose and increase my airspeed to say 90 knots, it would make the, the climb shallower. Okay, so I'll stay at 85 knots, we're still climbing. Okay, we want to level off, so for levelling off, the acronym is LAPT. That was lookout. Left to right. In front. Attitude, power, trim. So then it's lookout, then it's attitude, back to our level attitude. Then power. Once we're level, back to our cruise power setting in the sling of 5,000 RPM. And then trim the aircraft accordingly for level flight and make sure we're in balance, which we are. Checking our other instruments quickly, making sure we are level, in balance, and looking back on the horizon for our attitude is correct for our level flight. Okay, we're now going to be looking at our descent. For our descent, it's LPAT, that's lookout. Power attitude trim, that's lookout. Left to right. Look down where we'll be descending to, make sure there's no aircraft. Then power. In the sling, a, a standard cruise power, descent power setting is 4,000 RPM. Attitude, descent attitude, you can see there we've just lowered the nose, if I don't get too severe. And we'll hold about 95 knots in the descent. Trip the aircraft and make sure we're in balance. Using our other instruments to confirm 95 knots, our airspeed, our altimeter, vertical speed indicator and power and slip to make sure we're maintaining a constant descent profile. Obviously we don't need to keep laughing in the hose to check for any aircraft when we're in descent because we already have fantastic visibility for other aircraft. But we still need to monitor our temperatures and pressures to make sure that we're not overcooling the engine. Okay, levelling off. The acronym is LPAT again, so it's lookout. Left to right. Power. Back to our cruise power setting of 5,000 RPM in the sling. Attitude, back to our level attitude. And the trim for level flight and making sure we're in balance. Making sure with our other instruments that we are level, constant RPM, in balance, and the T's and T's are on the green. Looking out the front again, back to our horizon, and we maintain level flight. Got to turn back again. Real beautiful day today on the coast, on the coast. Okay, we're now going to look at our descent profile. So, 
We can change our rate of descent. So our attitude controls our airspeed, and our power control, controls our rate of descent and rate of climb. So we're going to look at the descent now again. So now, now our descent is LPAP, so let's look out. They're below power. That'll bring it back to about 4,500 for this descent. Attitude. And I'm going to maintain 90, about 95 knots. So at the moment I'm maintaining 95 knots. We're descending about 500 feet a minute and we're maintaining 4,500 RPM. Now if I want to increase my rate of descent to say 1,000 or 800 feet a minute, but I want to maintain a constant airspeed of 95 knots, what do you think we need to do? A lot of people say to me, well, lower the nose. Well, if I lower the nose, my airspeed's going to increase, so we can't do that. What else can we do? Try, we can reduce our power. So, to maintain a constant airspeed, but to increase our rate of descent, all we need to do is reduce the power. Let's say about 4,000 RPM. Adjust our attitude to maintain that 95 knots. And look at this, our vertical speed indicator, our vertical speed is increasing to about 850 feet per minute. So if I now want to keep the same airspeed but decrease my rate of descent to say 200 feet a minute, that's right, all I need to do is increase my power. So I'm going to increase my power at maybe 4,600. Adjust my attitude to maintain 95 knots. Look at that, we've got about 95 knots or 97 knots, 200 feet a minute rate of descent. And in fact, if I keep increasing power, let's say full power, and if I maintain 95 knots, just my attitude 95 knots, we're, we're going to start climbing. So I'm highlighting the fact there that our attitude controls our airspeed, and our power controls our rate of descent or rate of climb. Now a lot of students say to me, yeah, but doesn't, doesn't your throttle, doesn't your power also affect your airspeed as well? So well, it does, but it, it, it's more of a, a, a further effect than our attitude. So for instance, a good example is right now, we're, I'm just going to slow it down a bit. We're in level flight, we're sitting at 90 knots, 95 knots. Now if I want to increase this from 90, 90 knots to 100 knots using power, let's look how long it takes. So I'm going to increase the power now. It's coming up slowly. Yeah, we're at about 100 knots almost now, so it's taken about 10 seconds to do that. So if I come back to the same airspeed I was before, which is about 90 knots, And I now will adjust my attitude rapidly. Watch what happens to our airspeed. That's right, 100 knots. There we are, 100 knots in about three seconds. So we can see there's a real direct relationship between our attitude and airspeed. So in a, a lighter aircraft, that's how we fly with airspeed. We use our attitude. And we use our power to control our rate of descent and rate of climb. So in summary for our climbing descending, for climbing, it's LPAT, look out, power, attitude, trip. Every 500 feet we lower the nose, check out for any aircraft and check out temperatures and pressures. And then we can readjust our attitude to keep climbing. For levelling off, it's LAT, so look out, attitude, power, trip. For descending, it's LPAT again, look out, power, attitude, trip. And then for levelling off, once we've descended, it's LPAT again, so it's look out, power, attitude, trip. They're fairly straightforward. Okay, next lesson we'll be doing is uh, on turning.